Who is Kamala Harris? She has been selected by Joe Biden as his vice presidential candidate. All said and done, flawed though we may be, imperfect though we may be, this country is worth fighting for. And it is a historic move. She is not only the first black woman to be nominated as a vice presidential candidate, but this is also the first time an Asian American would be on the presidential ticket. She was born in California to immigrant parents, an Indian mother and a Jamaican father. After her parents' divorce, she was primarily raised by her mother. Harris earned a law degree at the University of California. In 2003, she became the top prosecutor for San Francisco before being elected the first woman and the first black person to serve as California's Attorney General. In 2017, she became the second black senator in US history and the first South Asian American in that position. Harris competed against Joe Biden in the Democratic primaries, but ended her campaign before the Iowa caucuses in February. She clashed with Biden in debates, attacked his record on school buses, and accused him of working with segregationists. But now the two are joining forces, with Biden calling Harris a fearless fighter. She is known as an outspoken and a fierce critic of the Trump administration. We are going to have to spend our time holding accountable a president who is lawless, and who has evidenced no respect for the oath of office that he has taken. In May 2019, she called on Attorney General Bill Barr to resign after a testy exchange with him on the Senate floor over the Mueller report. Did you have any communications with Russian officials uh, for any reason during the campaign that have not been disclosed uh, in public or to this committee? On foreign policy, she is more of an unknown and is unlikely to overshadow Biden but on some of the key Middle East issues, her politics is clear. In 2019, she said the US should rejoin the Iran nuclear deal. On Israel and Palestine, Harris has voiced support for a two-state solution and called Israel a critical ally and friend.